head. So today I'm going to be um, reviewing a palette for you guys. Um, it is um, a palette that has the exact colors of the Urban Decay Electric Palette in it. Um, I know there's a lot of you guys out there like me who try to stay on budget when it comes to makeup. Um, so you may not want to purchase the Electric Palette like me because I can't really see myself using it that much. Um, and to spend like $50 on something I'm not going to use ever, that's a little crazy for me. Um, so I am going to also link down below in the description box um, a link to the blog where I found um, this palette. And in that blog post, they, uh, the person who took the pictures has the electric palette and she's able to swatch them side by side so you can see exactly where in the palette the colors are the dupes, which ones you kind of have to custom mix, I think, two of them to get the color. I don't know. It'll be down below <laughs> in the description bar. So I'm going to go grab the palette and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, and I also today I use the palette to do my eye makeup, which I'll show you at the end of the video. Um, to do the, I recreated the rainbow eye look that Shan XO did um, using the electric palette. And I'm going to have a tutorial on that look using this palette coming soon. I just, I couldn't do it today because the sun keeps coming in and out. It doesn't know if it's going to rain or not. Oh, it's a free bird. Um, the sun keeps coming in and out. It's not really good lighting right now, so I don't. <laughs> so I didn't record myself um, doing the makeup look because it just wasn't working out. But I will have that tutorial coming up for you guys very soon. Okay, so this is the palette. This is the um, 120 palette. This is the first one, and this one is from Coastal Scents. Um, the reason why I chose mine from Coastal Scents, BH Cosmetics also sells it, by the way. The reason why I chose mine from Crystal Sense is because every time I get an eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics, it's chalky, it's not pigmented, it's really hard to blend, very hard to get any pigment off of it. Whereas every time I buy Crystal Sense, uh, like the hot pot uh, shadows or even palettes, I'm never disappointed. They're so rich and creamy, they're very pigmented and amazing. So I knew when I saw that it, it was sold at both places that I was going to get mine from Crystal Sense. So, first of all, here's what it comes in, the box it comes in, which I thought was really pretty. And then it shows you on the back the colors in the palette. And I'm going to have, you're probably going to see me out of the shot in a minute because it's, this camera doesn't have a flip around screen. So, sorry if I'm out of focus in any of my videos. Someday I am going to upgrade my camera, but right now this is doing just fine. <laughs> so, here's the, um, what it looks like. This is just... You'll see. Um, but anyway, so just a basic black, kind of matte um, finish to it. It's kind of, well, yeah, I guess you could say it's matte. It says Coastal Scents, and then just says what palette is, and then on the back it has the ingredients and CoastalScents.com written on it. When you open it, you have this, and then you have... <laughs> you also have this. So, I just want to take the plastic off. So you have both of these, these two things, and they come out, so I don't want to tip them too much. Um, so you get all these colors, and by the way, right now it's on sale for 12 something, that's when I bought it, I bought it, it was 12 97 I believe. Um, so, and these palettes go on sale all the time. So, um, I think originally they're like $20, but I, you can get them on sale all the time for like 12 bucks. so just look for that. Um, you can see where I mixed a couple of colors earlier to get the look of that I have right now. And if the if the lighting gets all weird, it's because the sun just went away again and I hear thunder, so it's probably gonna start storming any second now. It's one of those weird pop-up um, summer storms. Look at that. My finger accidentally touched one and there's so much pigment. Ugh. I mean, it's, I'm not complaining. So as you see, you get tons of you get mattes, and you get uh, shimmers, and you get satins. Um, well, they're not really shimmer. You get mattes, and you, you get shimmers. Um, they kind of mix and match in here. You get tons of greens and blues, a little bit of yellows and oranges, and then down here you get mostly purples, pinks, and then you've got your neutral tones down here, and you've got your grays and your whites up here. So, uh, it just got scary looking outside. <laughs> I don't like storms. Anyway, so yeah, and there are shadows in those two down there, I just 
look to make sure this is freaking me out. Anyway, so I'm going to take apart the palette and show you up close what each page looks like. Okay, so this is um, one of the pages here. Um, this is the one with the oranges and the greens and the blues. And as you can see, they're quite pigmented. And um, let's see. As you can see, some of them are mattes and some of them are shimmers. Um, really gorgeous colors. I love them all so much. Really happy with this palette. So that's page one. And this is the second page. So this is the ones with the more of the pinks and the purples going on in it. And you've got your neutral tones down there. And I'll show you in just a second. A few little swatches to show you how pigmented they, these babies are. And they're so cheap. And you can actually buy um, the colors separately, but as you can tell, there's no names on the back. So that is something I wish that they had. So this one's supposed to be Chaos and Gonzo dupes. This one obviously isn't as pigmented as the other one. I'm not exactly sure if this is in focus. My camera doesn't want to focus right now. Um, but as you can tell, they're very pigmented. And to make them even more pigmented, um, I always use a white base underneath them. But always use your primer because if you use like I use the uh, NYX Jungle Eye Pencil in Milk but if you use that it can crease so don't use too much or you will get creasing problems with that uh, product. So now it's time for my honest review, my honest opinion on these products. No I'm not sponsored at all. This is not a sponsored video. Um, first of all I'm going to say pigmentation on these things. They're amazing. Um, some are more pigmented than others, just to be honest with you. Um, as far as the colors for the Urban Decay Electric Palette, or, uh, as far as the colors um, that are supposed to be dupes for the Electric Palette, I think that they are spot on. There's, I think, two, like I said, I think there's two in the in this palette that you have to custom mi mix to get the perfect shade. Um, I don't mind doing that, it's a little tricky, so just be warned, but if you're going to save like 20 bucks and get in this thing, I would, because honestly, you get so much for your money, and obviously it's just one page, but you get so much, so many colors for your money, you can use this over and over again, especially if you're a freelance makeup artist, I think these palettes are a must-have in your kit, because when are you not going to need one of these colors? I mean, come on. And especially if you do like fantasy makeup, I think that these palettes will come in handy quite a bit. Um, but yeah, if you if you want even more of a deal on these palettes, um, they go on sale all the time at Crystal Sense and BH Cosmetics. Um, so I will li li so I will leave a link down below in the description bar, bar where you can buy it for both websites. Maybe it's on sale right now, I don't know. I don't have any coupon codes for you. But um, definitely check it out. If it's on palette, if it's on palette, if it's on sale, then I definitely would say go grab it. If it's not on sale, it's up to you. I think it's only $20 when it's not on sale. But I definitely think it is a great palette to have. Um, so yeah, um, I think that it is a great dupe for the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Um, I will have a couple of tutorials coming up using this palette, including the one that is on my eyes right now. I would have filmed it today, like I said, but the weather was kind of, well, it's still kind of wonky. It's like right now, I just got like really dark and like thundering and stuff. Um, yeah, so <laughs> it's kind of scary, to be honest. You can probably hear the thunder, actually. Um, but besides the weather, um, I was supposed to have my House of Lashes lashes come in sometime this week and they didn't come today. And I kind of want to use lashes when I film this look because I really want to master the look and make it look really nice for you guys. Um, but this is the same look Shannon, used, uh, Shannon did in her Urban Decay Electric palette tutorial which I will link her video down below. You need to go watch her, you need to go subscribe to her. She's amazing. I love her. She's hilarious. She's beautiful. She's perfect. <laughs> well, she's not perfect, but no one's perfect. But yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I will have more reviews coming up very soon for you guys. And I will show you a um, 
some videos and pictures of my eye makeup right now before it starts lightning, maybe the power will go out, and that would be horrible. That would be really funny. I wonder if anyone has ever made a video when the power's gone out. Like, you're just sitting there, like, putting on your makeup, and then, boom, and then everything goes dark, and you're just like, don't mind me, I'm just looking at myself in the mirror. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. You like my little, you like my background? I think this is, I think this is going to be permanent. I'm not sure. This little guy, I have him by my side. He's my little ninja. Um, ginger makeup ninja, so I thought it was fitting. Um, my best friend bought this for me one year. And unfortunately, she's not my friend anymore, but I still love her. She's still a sister to me. I'm not going to go into that. But, um, but yeah. He's a little ninja. He sits back there because I'm a ginger ninja. I'm a ginger makeup ninja. And uh, he's a bald head. So he's cool. Yeah. Be better. He's got like a little makeup brush on him. He's so cute. <laughs> but anyway. So yeah, and then I got my little my little owl friend back there, and this cool little train case that someone got me for my graduation. And then I got mm, a bunch of layers and perfumes and stuff, but you can't see them. Story of my life. The story of my life. I don't do that. Did you love how my shirt like gives me armpit boobs and they like it was this the most unflattering shirt? Except for you might like it. I don't know. It's from Hollister. Loves. Snapchatting. Is this a shocker for you guys? I wear glasses. Did you know that? I wear glasses. But I hate them. So I don't wear them when I record.